Hello, I'm up here, Toycat, and Minecraft 1.14.0 is now officially out for all Minecraft Bedrock platforms, and as it's called the Buzzy Bees update, you might just care about the bees which are found in this update in particular biomes. So today's video is going to be showing you a seed which has these brand new bees, but doesn't compromise on everything else because it not only has bees literally at spawn, it not only has bees with a giant flower forest, which is one of the best biomes for finding bees, but it also has a bunch of other things you might find useful from previous updates, such as abandoned villages and a pillager outpost that I'm going to be going through and explaining to you in today's video video. First though, you're going to need the seed, which is going to be IB, like the letters in my name. Then you want to type in 5E, so E-E, E-E-E, -E -E, follow that with an X, and then you've got the weirdest way to say IB, X, and it really is going to be the seed today, because press create world. And a couple of seconds later, you'll spawn on this extreme hills biome right over here, with just in front of you being a plains biome. And this is a pretty great spawn for a couple of reasons. One is because plains biomes, they're flat and great to build on, and two is because you might notice that you spawn literally facing your first beehive. This will be every single time you load up the seed, every single platform, you're going to find a beehive literally within viewing distance of your spawn, no looking even required, which I think is wonderful. And every beehive comes complete with up to three bees, which have just gone inside right now, but there were three bees right there, I swear, you saw them, right? And uh, yeah, this is a wonderful thing because it means you can access bees literally seconds after spawning. Obviously, there are more steps involved, like if you actually want to take, uh, take advantage of them, but there are lots of flowers around here, which means you can start breeding bees pretty much instantly. But like I said, this is a great 1.14.0 seed in general, not just for the bees, although that's going to come up a lot, but for other reasons that we're going to get into, such as the fact that at spawn also, there's an extreme hill biome, everyone loves those, but on that extreme hills biome, there are literally pumpkins found right here too, meaning at the same time you try to get your bee empire going, you know, immediately that is, you can also try to get your pumpkin empire going, again, pumpkins are something which are very, very useful for lots of reasons, mostly villager trading, and speaking of villager trading, heading back to the spawn over here, notice how we have, uh, you know, like a plains biome in front of us, but also we have to the west over here um, access to a tiger biome, which means access to foxes, which people find adorable, right? But that also means that if you just head through this tiger forest and through the sugarcane, another valuable resource to have at spawn, uh, you'll see very, very quickly, pretty close to spawn, there is an abandoned Minecraft village. This is a recent Minecraft bedrock uh, edition, and it's something, uh, you know, that obviously has been on Java for a while, but then they took it away, they re-added it, and it's cool to see it here in the game again, because everyone loves an abandoned village, right? They're meant to be pretty rare, but the interesting thing about this abandoned village, it's not its rarity, it's the fact that over in the very corner over here, at these corners, you can see in the top left, just in case you got lost by that movement, uh, you're going to find yourself an abandoned blacksmith. So right over here, you can get a random chest full of things that can contain diamond horse armor, can contain a saddle, can contain diamonds, can contain apples, pickaxes, all these sorts of things, diamonds, uh, uh, swords, etc. Uh, it's entirely random loot each time, but the best bit about it is this abandoned blacksmith is also going to come with bees nearby, because that's right, there is a beehive found just over here. You might question how that's even possible. Like, wait a minute, don't bees fall in flower forests? Isn't that a big part of the advertising on this seed? Uh, even though that's true that bees mostly have a biome they will spawn more in because there's more trees, you can find bees in any plains biome. And it just so happened that this tree, which was just at the edge of this village, was one of the 1 in 20, which was lucky enough to have a thing. So yeah, blacks, uh, these, these abandoned villages are meant to be a 1 in 50 chance. This is a 1 in 20 chance. Combine the two together, you get some nice rare odds. Uh, about one in a thousand, in case you're curious. So that's pretty great by itself, but it's not just an abandoned village. You know, abandoned villages, uh, you know, they kind of wear on you after a while. Like, you know what? You take the hay bales, you take the free food, and then you take the free blacksmith chest, and what more value is there? Well, that's why heading a little bit further this way, so the same direction from spawn, uh, you're going to find yourself more beehives, which I think is wonderful, and then eventually you're going to notice there is a flower forest here, a really close flower forest to spawn. That's right, literally 200 blocks, uh, you know, to your east, you're going to find yourself this thing right here, a forest filled with flowers, which is useful for two separate reasons. One is that, uh, you know, every 20 trees, uh, one in every 20 trees is going to have a bee's uh, nest. So bees are found right over here. Head a little further in. What are we going to find? You know what we're going to find? We're going to find more bees just like this. And then if we had a little further over here, because this is such a big flower forest with so many flowers, here are even more bees. I can't find their bee nest. Oh, here it is. It's on a birch tree. What a nice little rare event right there. And then head even further in, because you know what? This is a flower forest filled with trees. Um, we're going to find even more, uh, you know, bees around here too. 
As you can see, there's a beehive on the ground over here. As you can see, there's a beehive up there. There are so many beehives found in the flower forest because of how many trees there are here and because of that same one in 20 chance. But the other amazing thing about the flower forest and, you know, this one, you know, it's pretty obvious because bees like flowers. But if you want to breed the bees and you need to use flowers to do so, or you just want to lure the, uh, you know, the, the bee to follow you, all you have to do is grab one of these flowers and you can breed the bees with them. So yeah, having a flower forest is useful not only because it's where you find the bees, but it's also where you find the best thing for the bees. And yeah, this is the, the seed, you could say, is the bees' knees for that reason. But, you know, jokes aside, it also has a giant lava pit over here. So, so useful for rushing to the nether. As we've clarified before, you only need three bits of iron and then you can go to the nether if you can find a surface lava pit, which I think is wonderful. Um, also, at the very edge of the flower forest, where, by the way, more bees nest because it's a big old... Uh, by right over here, you're gonna find yourself a village, a very weirdly shaped village. Like, look at look at this one right here. It's very strange the way they're stacked on top of each other. Um, but this village also has bees, coincidentally, right at the very next to it. So while you're just chilling in the village, you might find some bees. Uh, coming in and dropping by, which I think is, I, I think that's a wonderful little addition, right? Um, also, you're gonna find some, uh, you know, vined, or I think it's called injured trees, kind of wacky also. And, uh, yeah, just in general, this is your first functioning village that you can use for villager trading. If, you know, the, the Buzzy Bees update is great, you're gonna want bees, but you can't have an entire world based around bees, but you can have an entire world based around trading if you want to. So yeah, a big village right next to, uh, you know, some beehives in a flower forest, one of the rarer biomes that contains the brand new mob. Pretty great by itself, but what's this because of the, uh, you know, lava pit over here? If you want to, all you need to do is scoop up the lava and you can make yourself obsidian really, really easily if you want to, which you can then use flowing water to make a nether portal, just like we've done right here. Or realistically, we're in creative, we just made it that way. Um, but then you can access the nether. And you're never going to believe this one, but it's a pretty good never spawn if you want to have a protected never portal that isn't easy to be blown off because you are already surrounded on most of your sides by this cave right here. Uh, you can dig into the cave if you want to stay extra safe. You're really, really worried about ghasts for, you know, UHC reasons or whatever else. Um, you know, maybe you're just playing on hard difficulty or maybe you just don't like ghasts or you can head right out of the open world and you can explore things from here. Although that ghast would start attacking you pretty fast if you didn't uh, guard your portal. So yeah, super interesting, uh, you know, never... Uh, not the best never in the world, but the fact that it's easy accessible makes it a win in my opinion. Speaking of wins though, let's go back to the spawn because one of the things about seeds that I find a lot of, uh, you know, other like seed showing places make the mistake of doing is just going in one direction eternally and seeing how good it gets. But the truth is people want options when it comes to seed and also if other people are going to join your world, they might want to do something different and you might want them to have something they like or maybe you just want to have, uh, you know, like a center focus for your spawn and having a single bees nest in another direction is great. Having an extreme hills is great, but if you don't like either of those things or you don't like bees enough to justify that, then you'll know that heading just over this direction, which is like perpendicular to the previous one, you'll find a pillager outpost pretty darn soon. And this is great. A pillager outpost with three of the structures around it. This is an opportunity to, of course, get that, uh, you know, that effect. Also, this one has three, um, you know, pillager leads in it. So three separate here of the villagers effects if you want that. I think that's kind of nutty, actually. Is that normal? I don't think, is that four or is that the same guy again? It's the same guy. But yeah, so um, yeah, this is a pretty great uh, chance to get yourself that. And get this, there are bees next to it as well because of course the tree that spawned here has a bees nest on it as well. Again, this is adding bees to existing Minecraft updates in kind of rare but fun, goofy ways. Like, you know what, while you're here, all you need to do is get a pillager to attack a bee and then the bees will attack the pillagers for you. Very wasteful use of bees, but very cute little battle you can have happen. But as well as having this fun little clearing, which happens to have a pillager outpost, which you could burn to the ground, you could replicate, you could do whatever you wanted with it once you kill the pillagers in there. Uh, what you can also do is you can head to the south here into the spruce, uh, you know, forest uh, right here, get some spruce trees if you want. But more importantly, it has itself a tiger village. Who doesn't love a good tiger village every now and then? That was of course a trick question. Everyone loves a good tiger village. And inside this tiger village, guess what? A blacksmith chest with even more opportunities for loot. You could find some iron in here or some iron boots. This is a pretty rough blacksmith chest. But yeah, you can find another blacksmith chest, another set of villagers. Honestly, I've been thinking like the, the villagers with the white skin on them, like the, I guess the white clothes, I should say. I guess all villagers are white skin. You know what, Minecraft's racist clearly. But you know, Minecraft has, um, you know, like all, all these, uh, you know, white clothed villagers that aren't very common. People use jungle a lot, people use planes a lot. 
lot. People sometimes use desert locks, it's quite common, but tiger villagers and the ice biome villagers with their blue clothing, pretty rare. So take advantage of it, deforest this entire thing, and then, you know, make it look like it's not a spruce tiger thing, or just put them in boats and move them to another biome. It's your choice which one you do, but I think that's pretty cool regardless. And as well as that, you know, I've shown off quite a few villagers in this spawn already, just over here, a few hundred blocks over another plains biome, so guess who's gonna find bees along the way? That's right, it's all of you when you find this bee's nest, coincidentally again, next to the village. This one's not as close as the previous ones were, but still, bees next to a village, uh, that's something I absolutely love. It's unbelievable, and uh, yeah, in general, uh, you know, having another village right here is super useful, and I like this one because, again, Minecraft villagers try to generate land if there's none below them where they want to spawn. This one generated all over a river, which means that literally half the village is inside of a river. This should be a free-flowing river, you can see where Minecraft wants to generate a river flowing around here, over there, etc. But the village has generated in the river instead, which creates this very bizarre terrain, which I'll admit is mostly fun to see. It's not that useful for gameplay value, but that doesn't stop it being incredibly fun to see, in my opinion. Minecraft seed with some really well-balanced biomes, a lot of planes for a lot of bee potential, a lot of spruce for, for a lot of, I guess, if that's your favorite type of wood, um, a lot of villages, and most importantly, a lot of bees, uh, you know, just all over the seed with some flower forests, with some flowers, with all the the types of biomes you're probably going to want and need. This is a really great opportunity for you to start a brand new world if you want to start removing the terrain and terraforming on top of it. It's not a wacky challenge like a survival island. It's not, uh, you know, like a particularly unique seed in terms of every rare and unique biome, but it has the one rare biome you really want near spawn, the flower forest, and what more can you really ask for besides bees every day, all day? And that is something uh, this seed is going to be leaving you with. It's a 1.14.0 seed that's perfectly balanced in every way, except for the bees, where it's above balanced, of course. And yeah, that's something I hope you all enjoyed seeing in today's video. Uh, having a flower forest this close to spawn is something that's wonderful, rare, and useful to have, of course, in my opinion. But if you disagree, let me know. There are a bunch of other things about the seed that you'll find as you go further on. As of any seed, eventually you'll find anything you want. There is a jungle over there. There is a roof forest here. There's another village over there. There's a ravine over here. It's not the deep ravines that go down to diamond layers. So we didn't talk about it. But I mean, if you want, you can find that and you can explore it all the way down until you find diamond. Diamonds. Or in this case, a weird mashing of like water literally next to lava in a way that doesn't even make sense as a whole. But yeah, um, this is something you can find on this seed. It's quite a cool thing. It's quite uh, wonderful to look at. And uh, oh, well, actually, I missed this before. There is a spider spawner chilling on the side of the ravine with an enchanted, oh, just a, a golden apple, a saddle and an enchanted book in it. How wonderful, how whimsical and how rare. But no, yeah, this is a seed filled with many things to discover. And I hope you enjoy doing that. Remember, the seed is IBX, because who doesn't love bees? So thank you for choosing to be here today and to watch this video. Just remember, I believe that you can hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos. And I am beyond uh, these puns, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be stopping anytime soon. Because I hope you are having a wonderful day. And if it doesn't, I hope you will be joining me for my stream later today uh, in the Buzzy Bees update, of course. Probably playing PlayStation 4 for the... You know, like bedrock for the first like proper extended time. I'm looking forward to that and hopefully all of you are too. Thank you very much for watching because I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.